Hey everybody, welcome back to Susie's Stuff. I'm thrilled to bring you some gorgeous farmhouse winter DIYs this week. This is such a beautiful time of year and I don't want to skip over it too fast. I did a little poll here on YouTube and I've actually never done that before and I will do more of that for sure. It was fun. I got 83 votes and it looks like you want to see a little more of the winter DIYs. So thank you so much for voting and watch out for more posts on YouTube. And also over on Instagram, I'm doing my quick hauls over there. I got uh, some stuff at Hobby Lobby for 90% off I want to share with you. And then I'll post some Valentine things as well. I want to get you ready for that season. So let's get started on our farmhouse winter DIY. I think it's going to be beautiful. Come on. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so happy you're here. I would love it if you'd click and subscribe and then click the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up or even a comment. So don't touch that dial. Let's go make some stuff. All right, our first project today is Mr. Block Snowman. And I'm using a two by four, some mittens and a plastic spoon, and then this puffy paint. Remember we used to use it in the 80s to make t-shirts, I loved it. And so uh, I'm also uh, checking off one of my resolutions to do a little bit more of textured painting. So I just pop off the little dispenser a piece because uh, I just want to pour it out and then the spoon works really well to sort of smooth it all out like icing and I also do the sides. And a t-shirt paint usually takes overnight to dry, but this took about six hours. And so I was actually uh, ready to work with it uh, on the same day. because so I started it in the morning. Uh, okay, uh, little mitten, get on there. <laughs> uh, I think if I had to do it again, I would do a second coat. Um, I love how it looks though, but I think I, if I was doing it again, and to you out there, if you're gonna try it, uh, uh, go ahead and do two, two coats of it. So I just tied on the little mitten and then with some uh, jute twine, just tied it all up in there. You could add some uh, filling in there if you'd like for the hat, but he stayed up pretty, pretty good for me. And so this is some black puffy paint and I'm just adding uh, the eyes and the mouth and then we're gonna do a nose. And by the way, I got the puffy paint at Walmart. And so I'm using my little popsicle sticks and I just cut out sort of a little carrot looking piece. I didn't want to paint him orange because I just wanted to keep that farmhouse a feel with the natural colors, the white and the black. And then I can't decide if I should put that snowflake on his hat. So I kind of come back to that in a little bit. I'm using these little cubes that you get at Dollar Tree, a little package of them. And I thought that would be cute for his buttons. And this is a little strip of sweater that I got from an old sweater. And I just cut strips of it and I thought it would make a great scarf. So I just tied that around there, kept it again, sort of neutral. And um, should I use it? No, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> But the final product, I did not use it. I think it looks great. Um, you can embellish his hat however you like. You can add more colors. But I love that it's a uh, very farmhouse. So I hope you can gather up all your supplies and make a block snowman today. He sure was fun. Get that puffy paint. And here comes an extremely easy project, Rustic Snowflake. All you're gonna need is an old board or any board that you can find at Dollar Tree, some twine, um, and some white Waverly chalk paint. Whoops, I got it at Walmart. 
So with all these things, all you're gonna do is paint the board, uh, just brush it over a light dry brush over the whole thing, or you could actually use whatever color you like. I think maybe a baby blue would be pretty as well. But I went ahead and went with white. I also wanted to share with you, I was having a little lunch while I was crafting, and one of the bowls that I love is from Dollar Tree. It's those clear ones, and it is perfect for a salad, a yummy chicken salad with avocado and cucumber so I had to share that with you um, now back to the DIYing I just got my board all painted and I'm just going to draw with my glue gun a snowflake I was looking at one um, there while I was putting it all together and you can find any snowflake design that you want to use and recreate it it was sure fun all you have to do is just cut your pieces and take a bite of salad and just keep working This was so much fun putting it together and look how cool it looks. I love it. And it is so textured and farmhouse. And I know that you're gonna come up with your own cool design. I love it, it's sitting on a shelf right now and it was perfect because it was 23 outside today while I was working on this project. So I think that it is so much fun to put together. And I know you're gonna have fun putting yours together today. I think this is my favorite DIY of the day. It's, I call it the three amigos. I have these clear ornaments from Dollar Tree that were sort of left over. Any clear ornament you can find or have in your stash. And these are some wooden uh, candle holders that I was given to me by a friend. Thank you, Donna. And I'm going to say that she got them at Hobby Lobby because I found some at Hobby Lobby that looked just like it. So you could pick those up there. I also picked up these um, little clip-on hats from see I got those at Walmart and uh, they were I think they were on sale as well but any type of hat but I just love this DIY I think you're gonna love it too so I just painted the little candle holders with white one coat and then for the hats I just took off the brim cut a hole and um, the little hat part was made out of styrofoam, so it was really easy to get them put together. I just needed to make a hole so that I could glue them to the ornaments. So the brim fit nice and snug over the ornament opening and then I just use a little bit of hot glue popped that on there and then popped the top of the hat and I did that to all three of them you could add some fake snow in there some Epsom salt whatever you like i just kind of liked it plain this time no eyes no face i just really loved that look so all we're going to do now is hot glue them right on top of the uh, candle holders look how cool that looks oh i love it then i took some more of my sweater and made their scarves And instead of letting the scarves kind of hang down, I did a little something different by just trying to tie it into a little bow. I love it when it's all cozy up around your neck. And so that's what I was thinking about these little snowmen. So I did them all that way with the big puffy bow at the top. How cute is that? Looks so cozy. 
And here they are, my three amigos with their beautiful bottle brush trees that I got at Hobby Lobby for 90% off. They were like 60 cents. And I love all of these little guys. They're so cute with their hats. You could add any hat, any ornament that you like. And I really like them faceless. It just gives it a very farmhouse feel and a very neutral feel. So ole, my three amigos. And with this DIY, we must have some 80s music. It's called my Leg Warmer Vase. And these are some leg warmers, a vase from Dollar Tree, and a candle if you like. You can actually add anything in the vase that you want to, maybe some beautiful winter floral pieces. But all we're gonna do is slip the leg warmer right onto the vase, super easy, super quick and very farmhouse. I love the color, that cream color. And so you can just cut it off to your liking. Uh, you can scrunch it up just like a leg warmer or I just did mine smooth all the way down. And then I pulled it off and cut it as straight as I could across the bottom. And then I will sort of tack it down with a couple of dots of hot glue so it doesn't go anywhere. But I can pull it up if I want to, to use the vase for something else. And now to add a little decoration to our leg warmer vase, I just pulled out my twine and went around a few times, tied a quick little bow, and then I pulled out my greenery. And here are my Dollar Tree Ziploc Giant Bags. I love them. They are perfect to keep all of your greenery and, and floral pieces in there. So I got a couple of pieces that I like. Uh, that one's from Dollar Tree. That other greenery, who knows? I've got these berries I've had forever. So these are the three that I selected. And we're just going to throw those to the front any which way you like. I just stuck them inside of the twine. I uh, didn't use any hot glue. So like I said, I can use this vase again and uh, maybe do it a different way next year for winter time. But I love all these pieces together. So rustic, so farmhouse. And I love those white beads. I've had those for a while. I wanna say maybe Hobby Lobby or something like that, but you can pick them up anywhere. So look how this turned out. Ooh, I love it. Yes, 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 and here it is all put together. What do you think? So easy, so elegant, so farmhouse. I hope you can find your leg warmers from back in the day and put together a leg warmer vase today. And here comes a really fun project called Round Frame Snowman. And these are some frames that you always find at Dollar Tree. I always see them. Hmm, what can we do with that? What is that? I don't know, some eyes? <laughs> you never know what you come up with, but I am using two of those. These are some wooden beads cut in half that I got on Amazon. And these are some uh, craft sticks. You don't have to use the giant ones, just any craft sticks that you can find. And then I'm just going to go around each of the little round parts of the frame and add my little half wooden beads. Now I have both frames done with the little wooden beads and I break off the stand of one of them. I'm gonna hot glue it to the top of the other one and then I'll use a little support by extra little piece that broke off. You'll see. And there's that little piece. I'm just gonna add it to the back to give it that extra support. Worked perfectly. 
So now I'm grabbing my paint and I'm gonna give it one coat of the Waverly chalk paint in white. You could do whatever color you like. And if you wanted to add some more rustic feel to it, you could add some of the antique wax around it to give it a little bit more aged look. And I just painted right over the plastic frame and that worked out just fine. That's exactly what I wanted. Or if you wanted to use it as a frame, you could. You could even uh, maybe put a picture of a snowman in that top frame and then maybe a picture of some um, buttons on the bottom. Hey, that might be something. So I just cut my little craft stick into the shape of a hat and I'm going to paint that black. So now the hat is done and I have one of the little wooden snowflakes from Hobby Lobby. They also had them at Dollar Tree as well. So we're just gonna top that right on the head there. He's so cute, he's coming together. And then I'm just going to use the tip of my paintbrush to create the eyes and some buttons. And then I'm going to use another little sliver of that craft stick. I ran outside. It's about 23 today on this craft. And so I ran outside to a little shrub that we have. And I found some sticks that were going to be perfect for the arms. Look, it looks like he has little fingers. So I was like, perfect. So we're just going to hot glue that right on. And he's just about complete. And here is our round frame snowman. He is so happy. I love the little fingers from the branches that worked out great. So gather up all your supplies and make your fun little snowman today. This project is gonna be so fast and easy. It's my black and white snowflake. And I probably should have done it with one of my 60 second DIYs. But I'm having some coffee this morning. And this is my, I love this mug for winter. I got it at Cracker Barrel. Do you guys know what Cracker Barrel is? And uh, it's beautiful. And of course we got it on sale. So, okay, here we go. These are those little plastic snowflakes that you get at Dollar Tree. There's three in a pack. Another piece of scrap wood, again, you can use any piece of wood that you have uh, from Dollar Tree as well and then just some black paint super quickly we are going to paint this whole block of wood with this chalkboard paint and let it dry I'm just did one coat Okay, it's dry and seriously, we're almost done. Look how beautiful this snowflake looks against the black. Makes it super farmhouse and super wintry. I love it. And I'm just gonna hot glue that right on. Now, those little Christmas gems you see there, they were on sale at Hobby Lobby. I got them for 90% off. That little pack there was 50 cents. I can't believe that that was left over. I find one of the big ones, add it to the center, and we are finished. Wow, look at that. Now, the one thing I, sh I didn't show you is I took my sandpaper block and just roughed up the edges a little bit to give it a more rustic farmhouse look, but that is it. How easy and quick is that? Beautiful. And to end our fun day of crafting, I've got this hot chocolate served here project. Have you seen these little light up wooden pieces? I think they are so cute. And I also found one that says coffee with like some little steam coming out of it. And then I'm gonna be using some of this wintry floral pick and some straws. And then these are some cinnamon sticks that I got at Hobby Lobby again for 90% off. Let's put it all together. So just getting all my pieces ready to go. I got the white stuff to put right in there. It fit perfectly. I did have to tack it down with a little bit of hot glue. Um, if you don't have this white wintry pick, um, maybe, I don't know, whatever you can find that you like to put in there, even some greenery if you wanted to. 
and I'm adding the straws. I stuck them together, but I didn't actually like that. So we pull it apart and then I trim them down and then add the cinnamon stick. So easy. Oh, I think this is so cute, especially for uh, a little cocoa bar or a coffee bar. How perfect for a little touch of winter decor. And here it is, the light is on, so that means hot cocoa is ready to go. I took the straws and kind of pulled them apart a little bit. I didn't like how I put them close together, so it all turned out beautifully and so easy. I think you will enjoy putting this little hot cocoa with marshmallows served here DIY together today. And here are all of our farmhouse winter DIYs. They all go together so well. Look at that black pop of that snowflake in the background. And then this snowflake and that leg warmer vase. It's so beautiful, so cozy looking, right? I just, I just wanna snuggle up and look at all these pieces, how fun they are to put together and so relaxing. Especially this time of year, January can be cold and everybody's inside and crafting can be so great for the mind and so fun with your family and friends. So grab all of your supplies and get to crafting. So coming soon, Friday, January 14th, I'm going to be crafting with my Nomi's with Dave's recent things. And then next Saturday is my going to be my last winter episode for the year. So thank you so much for joining me today. I loved having you. Don't forget to subscribe. I love all your comments. Give me a thumbs up if you love everything and stay tuned for Tuesday's 60 second DIY. Thanks for joining me on Susie's Stuff KDIY channel 146. Bye everybody.